Hello and welcome to Battle Brothers. Uh, Battle Brothers is a top-down tactical medieval combat RPG based around a band of mercenaries. And um, yeah, let's uh, let's get into it. So I have uh, played a little bit around with it, and uh, we're not going to go with this mercenary company name. I'm going to try a new name and a new new flag because. Yeah, the, the last time I played it, it didn't go so well, so maybe we need a, a change of fortune. How about the, the Bear Company? Bear Company sounds good, yes. There is quite a lot of reading in this, so I hope you don't mind, but I am going to read it because there is quite a bit that I haven't read and I'm not going to just skip over it. And I don't want to like sit there in silence while I read it and you have to watch me do nothing. So yeah, we're going to read. It all went wrong. Two days ago, the company was hired to track down Hogarth the Weasel and his band of raiders, but it was them who found you first, an ambush. Some joke about horses cut short by an arrow to the throat, arrows shooting in from everywhere and nowhere. Men holler and scream, a great volume before death. As the hail subsides, you draw your weapon with the rest of the men, only to collapse to your knees. An arrow has punctured your side. You shout in pain. A harried glance sees the men charge without you to make a valiant last stand, met in force as steel clashes with steel. Your eyes meet with the captain, a last nod before his throat is cut. You're left in command now, of what few men remain. Trembling in pain, you lean on your sword, and with all the will you can muster, slowly rise again. To the end! Yeah, so this is Battle Brothers, and, and you just got fucked. It's, uh, it's pretty cool. I remember... Well, you got fucked too. Anyway, uh, I remember a long time ago playing on my friend's PSP um, a game about... Um, it was Lord of the Rings. It was sort of the same kind of combat. Uh, also sort of reminds me of, like, you know, chess pieces. This could definitely work as a... Um, as a board game. Anyway, this guy does not have a shield. Do you have a shield? No. And there's Hogarth the Weasel, the dirty, stinking rat. He's out of range. All right, so we uh, we shot and we hit him. That's nice. Hogarth running away like a damn weasel. Now, um, we have nine action points. To move here, we takes two to move there. It would take. Is it two to move anywhere? Yes, okay, so to move is two. I don't think we want to move, because it's four to attack. Maybe I could move and kill. Or move and, uh... You, you know what I'm trying to say. Move and attack. But I think we're just going to move here. So yeah, that actually... It's two per move. It doesn't actually show that. Um, but your turn is over. And I think we're just going to move you here. Defend our crossbowmen. Yeah, you don't get to attack. Alright. So how about we get... Mm, his armor is dented. He has a pierced chest. I wish I could use you first. Can I, can I switch to you? Or is it some kind of priority system in regards to how many action points you have left at the end of the turn? That could be it. Um, I'm thinking we're going to raise shield wall and then just hope our crossbowman can take this guy out. So, that's what we're going to do. Raise the shield wall. I wonder. Shield is raised for protective stance until next turn. Allies using shield wall next to each other further increase their protection. Okay, but if I attack, am I still in shield wall? Let's try it. I missed anyway. Uh, I think I just shot my guy in the back. Alright, well, um... You, you, you're so fucked. That was pretty cool. Anyway, we used Split Man, so an attack from the top, trying to split him down the middle. Round Swing has a chance to hurt everybody around you. You just sort of swing in a round arc. And we can also split shield. Oh, he's actually surrendered. Oh no, he's wavering. 
So that kind of looks like surrendered the, with a the bloody white flag. Anyway, let's uh, go on to their turn. He attacks me. That's annoying. Alright, we're going to shoot you and miss. Maybe it's not a good idea to have my guys here. Or well, you got fucked. Uh, let's leave you. You're bleeding now as well. And we can stab you twice and kill you. Okay, so that's our first battle done. And our guys kind of got hurt. It's kind of annoying. Let's see what loot we got. We got ourselves a woodcutter's axe, a butcher's cleaver, and an open leather cap. Nice. So again, there's probably going to be some reading here. You're alive. You won. The adrenaline fades, and in its wake, you can't help but sink back to the ground. It doesn't it looks like you won't be holding a sword again anytime soon. Gritting your teeth, you snap the arrow shaft. Your chest heaves for breath, feeling the pain well up in your very lungs. Most of the company lies ahead. All those men you fought with side by side in the shield wall this past year. And Hoggart did justice to his name, running like the weasel that people mock him to be. What now? A voice says from behind. It's Bjarni the Merciless, who sits down beside you betting his bloodied axe on his legs. You turn to him to reply, but before you can answer, he continues. The captain's dead. They slit his throat. He was a good man and a damn good leader, but it all, all it took was one mistake. That makes you the one in charge now, don't it? Erland the Loyal joins the two of you, still breathing heavily. Let's save the anointments for another day. I figure we give the men a good burial and return to Holness to collect our pay. The weasel's men are slain, after all, even if the man himself took tail and ran. And we ought to see that to that arrow sticking out of you before we lose another man. So be it. So, Holness is over here. Return to Holness to get paid. Okay. And there's a... What? I, I, I didn't press this. There's eight bandit raiders. I do not want to fight those just yet. Let's just go and get our coins. In camp. Track foot... Uh, track... track ugh. Footprints. Track those. And we can show factions and relations. 2,000 gold, 48 food, 16. Oh god, that actually does. They tick down if you don't do anything. Okay. Three peasants. The return to Holness. What a sorry display it must be for the onlookers as you arrive in Holness. Four bloodied and beaten mercenaries down on their luck. The men who hired the company days ago, Eric and the councilman, no doubt expected you to return in a more glorious fashion. Still, he welcomes you to his house again and offers bread and wine while a servant fetches a healer. Few words are exchanged except for the occasional grunt and wheeze and as an elderly man with shaky hands tends to your wounds. Doesn't seem like a very smart idea to have somebody with shaky hands tend to your wounds. Anyway. Finally, Eric the Councilman breaks the silence. So, how did you fare? A pin knife through your skin, the first of many stitches to come. You grit your teeth till you think you hear one break. Eric the Councilman takes one grave look and he quickly hides his face behind a drink of wine. Finding breath, you give answer to his asinine question. I love that word, asinine. It's great. We killed all of Hogwarts men, but he managed to elude our blades in the end. The healer waves around a glowing fire poke, suggesting he wants to push it into your wound. You nod and he does so. For a moment, that's all there is. You're not a man, but a, pitch of, a pinch of fire, flesh from flame. As the pain subsides, you come to see that Eric the Councilman's mood has lightened. So all his men are dead then. Well, that's that's I see. Good thing you removed that threat from wholeness. But that man is truly elusive. Truly is elusive. We expect to get paid for this. Eric the councilman gasps. Well naturally, I gave my word, didn't I? A hundred crowns for every man, so as I see it, that's four hundred crowns for the four of you. He gestures towards his servant who nods and hands him a wooden chest from which to take the pay. I wonder. May I make use of your services one more time? I'd very much like to end the headache that is Hogarth the Weasel once and for all, and I would pay you again, of course, another 400 crowns, shall we say. Bjarni the Merciless scoffs and turns to drink more wine, but Erland the Loyal stands to speak. Yes, the company is in ruin, but we can rebuild it. You know Bjarni the Merciless, he'd drink the crowns away and end up begging on the streets. And Leif the Hound wouldn't fare any better chasing the women folk until one stove his rotted head in. We need the bear company. It's all we have. What say you, Captain? Bjarni the Merciless burps and raises his cup to you. Leif the Hound playfully thumbs his nose and nods. You're the captain now and your men look to you for leadership. Yes. We have unfinished business. Very good. Excellent. 
I'll need some time to find out where Hogart is hide in hiding in his hiding his hide now. In the meantime, I suggest you see about stocking up on supplies so you'll be good and ready to end this when the time comes. I shall see you in a few days' time at the latest. As you leave the comforts of Eric the Councilman's house and stand on the outskirts of Holness again, Erlend the Loyal seeks a word with you. What it, what it is we need is more men, Captain. I know I gave a big speech back there, but it ain't nothing without more warm bodies in the ranks. We should hire at least three more swordsmen. Buy them some decent weapons and dress them in the best armor we can afford. The man pauses to glance around. I bet this Bodunk's town's got a desperate peasant or two looking for a new life. Or we could travel to Alder, Adlerberg in the east. Them city folk aren't always as hardy as these country bumpkins, but we'll likely find men with fighting experience stopping to rest there. And, uh... And they'll sell better weapons, too. Alrighty, then. So. Marketplace. Hire. Harbor. I think we're gonna hire from here. So. You... Your background of fisherman. Like, why... Can I, can I see your stats? Like, why... Why would I get... Ah, lower max fatigue, higher resolve, lower resolve, lower hit points, lower max fatigue. Yeah, we're not taking you. Lower melee skill, higher range defense, higher max fatigue. Now I'm going to take this fisherman. Not you. take you as well. You're a little expensive though. You have no stats at all. Alright, we're gonna leave. Go to the marketplace. And let's see. We have grains. We need to keep these, I think. But we need... We bought two men. We've got two weapons. Maybe we should buy a couple of shields. So it's right click to get the shields. Okay. Alright, let's leave. And the harbor. So we can sail places for some gold. But I don't know where anything is, so pointless doing that. Okay, fair enough. Alright, let's pause it so we don't waste time looking around. We need to go to Alderberg. Adlerberg. I suppose we could try and... No, I think we should just move straight here. While we are so uh, down on men, we've only got five. There was a raiding party here that had eight. I don't really want to fight those guys. These are faster than the peasants. Can we talk to the peasants? Oh, shit. Are you going after the peasants? You are. And the peasants are fucked. Yeah, go past you. Snakey like. Back on the road, go fast again. Stone Keep is towering high over the surrounding mountains. Lookouts on the towers can see approaching troops from miles away. I don't know, there's like a lot of mountains here. I would imagine that they could uh, get to your town quite easily. As the silhouette of Alderberg appears on the horizon, Leave the Hound seeks a word with you. Never been to Alderberg before myself, but I've been around. These big cities are expensive, much more so than Holness and other villagers like it. But the merchants have everything we need. Weapons, armor, food. There's a smithy in Alderberg. It's worth a visit too. Will be expensive for sure, but they'll sell real weapons made for war and not just farming tools. We could also browse the wares in the marketplace, of course. There's a few bargains to be made. But they'll also try to sell stuff that break apart if you so much sneeze on it. Don't get swindled by them cutthroat merchants, Captain. Bjarne the Merciless sees fit to add his own opinion of what you should do. If there's a good tavern, I say that's where we head first. Pay around from the company's coffers to get us all drunk for the night and raise our spirits. God knows we earned it. Leif shakes his head. You say that every time we stop in town, even when we ain't done anything. Fair enough. Recruit three more men. Alrighty then. We're not going to the tavern. Fuck you. Alright, we need three more. 
Uh, I like that. Oh man, these guys have very expensive upkeep. Uh, higher hit points, lower max fatigue. Yeah. It's the same for you. It's the same for you. Higher melee sale, lower resolve. And the last one. War dogs unleashed by this character will start a confident morale. Alright, well I'm taking you because you have good you have a good stat. Maybe I'll take Ingolf as well. Um I'll take Bertwin. Alright, so now we're up to eight. Let's go to the weaponsmith. Damage 35 to 70. 35 to 45. Alright, so that, actually that weapon is actually quite good. 20 to 30 probably isn't good though. How much money do we have? A thousand. That's two handed. That's one handed. I mean, it does 20 to 30. If I can't get anything that does better than 20 to 30, maybe I'll get the sword. And we'll see about armor. Probably can't afford much. Um, guess we get a leather lamellar armor? Nah, we're gonna leave it for now. Marketplace. Yeah, as he said, the, the shit's cheaper here. Sell that. I guess we sell that as well. We shouldn't have bought that. Alright, let's leave. Leave here as well. Now, click on this to go through our guys. You have a throwing net. How do we get to the next guy? Don't want to dismiss you. Ah, here. Okay. Um, we need to equip our guys. You're not equipped with anything. Which one was our guy with a higher melee skill? That's an experience gain. Background of fisherman. Is that you? No. Is that you? That was the war dog guy. You're already here. Pretty sure I picked up a guy with higher... Whatever. Um, you can have the cowl. You can have the falchion. And this uh, shield. You can have... The axe. Alright, so we're gonna have to fight people and get some weapons. I would like to get two weapons. Maybe I can just buy a couple here. Knife? No. I mean, we do need weapons. We shouldn't have sold that bloody cleaver. We need two weapons. I think we'd probably go for the pickaxe and the hatchet. Or maybe the club. Yeah, we'll go with the club. Which one was the miner? You. You already had a pickaxe. It's fine. You... A hound master. Sort of seems fitting for you to have a bludgeon. And you... Your background is... What? Apprentice. Yeah, I think that's fine. 
spent quite a lot of our funds. We need to return to Eric in Holness. We hold shift, we kind of follow him. Supply caravan. You know, it would be pretty cool if I could be a, a bad guy and attack that. Why is it stopped? Stop stopping. Go here. Yeah, I'm thinking we make these episodes a little bit longer. Can I trade with you? No. Yeah, I'm thinking we make these episodes maybe like 30 minutes because of the uh, talking. Eric the Councilman awaits you impatiently, pacing back and forth as you put down your bags and muddy boots. Finally, you're here. I have good news. We've got a hold of one of Helgert's former men. The healer who damn near killed you with a fire poke is standing nearby. He's picking chunks of dry blood out of his fingernails. Eric the Councilman laughs. We had a nice little talk with the man, and now I know where Hoggett's licking his wounds. I'm eager to rid myself of him once and for all. You, have a you give him a waiting look and then ask, Well, where is he? Eric the Councilman stra straightens up, as though the excitement had lost him a fair bit of composure. Oh, right. He's hiding out in some small hut in the steppe northeast of here. I'll mark it on your map. Apparently, he managed to gather more men in the short time since your battle. I suspect he knows the bear company is on his heels, like a bunch of bloodhounds. Good luck. Is it... Oh, no, it's not that one. Mm, we don't need to do anything. Alright, well, let's go and fight it. We'll see what happens. We'll get there eventually. Two bandit thugs and a marksman. Alright, let's, let's prepare for combat. Ad Victorian Brothers! Alright. You first. Seems we have more men than they do. Can I throw the net from all the way over here? No. Destroy armor and hammer. Okay. Alright, well, we're going to move you here. Wait a turn. Alright, crosswoman time. Armed with a shield. 50% chance to hit. I think I'm more afraid of the flail. That was a nice shot. You know what? I'm actually going to back my guys away from that crossbowman. Because he missed like a fool. Getting close. Yeah, maybe you run away as well. Yeah, you can end turn. Yeah, you can end turn as well. You want to do shield wall, can you? No, you can't. Hopefully we'll be able to get another shot in with our archer. Oh no, don't hit me, don't hit me. Yeah. Uh, actually, I think I'm gonna get hit if I run away. He missed though, get fucked. Ha, <laughs> <laughs> get fucked. All right, run a little bit more away. I'm gonna wait 
He has destroy armor and hammer. He has a shield. If I wait... That would bring me down to one, so I couldn't use my other things. And does that give me the high ground? I think it might. Ugh, zone of control. Bring me back to E4. Or there, I couldn't attack. If I go there, I would have three left. These use four. Knock out or bash. We're gonna try and. Hmm. Not 7 can ignore armor, not 14 can ignore armor. Let's just bash the guy in the head. And miss, of course. Alright, let's thrust into him. It barely hurt him at all. You hit my shield, that's fine. Wow. Six AP to do, uh, use your axe. Insane. Alright, well, I guess, um, you have armor, so let's try and break that armor. A miss, of course. Alright, you... I want you to try and take this guy out. Um, I guess we just keep trying to wail on him. Actually, you're going to wait. I'm going to try and sh uh, get rid of his... What are you doing? That sounded like a knock... Uh, a riposte or something. Prepare to immediately counterattack any opponent that attempts to attack in melee and misses. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna do that too. Right, if I move here, this costs five. No, no, it doesn't. Okay. Alright, let's get rid of his shield. You're moving back, and then you move forward again. How foolish. Yeah, just keep attacking. You. Yep, that's exactly what happened. Wow. Alright, let's try and knock this guy out. Or let's just bash him. I'm a very bad shot. Yes, get fucked. Do you have a shield? No. Oh! Goodbye, your head! Lovely. You raised your shield again, that's fine. Awesome. Alright, let's try and split this guy's shield. Yeah, I got fucked. this guy. Yes. 
bash him. Let's bash him again. He's dead. Start moving on this guy. He should probably run away. I would run away if I was him. Uh, I probably shouldn't have done that. Huh. Yeah, get netted. And then get stabbed in the brain. Right, so his lung has collapsed and he's got a cut artery. It's permanent and will heal in one to three days. Oh, this is the guy that actually died and he's come back to life but with these stats. Okay, that's fair. Let's see the loot. Signet ring, grain, crowns, tools, ammo, more ammo, some armor. Lovely. Oh, I didn't take it with me. I didn't take it with me. Ah. Ogret lies dead in a pool of his own blood, skewered into a very a grotesque and panicked pose. He didn't weasel his way out of this one. You put a boot on his corpse and look to your men. For the company, for all the men who've fallen. Leaf spits on the dead man's face. Let's take this bastard's head and get on back to wholeness. It's not a cheerful mood that the men are in, but it's a content one. Blue horizon glowing before a furiously rising sun. The deed is done and the company avenged. In this world, that's about as much closer as one can hope for. Time to get paid. So we're going to get paid and then I'm going to end the episode. Um, I said, let me know in the comments uh, what you think of the series. You lead your way back to Holness as Leaf picks his pace to catch up with you. Got a moment, Captain? You nod for him to speak his mind. The battle has left arm and shields battered and the men have sustained some wounds. Perhaps we should make camp so we can get everything in order and put some bandages on. We'll be a lot quicker if we don't have to do it on the road. Every man maintains what equipment they carry, but you'll have to see that we should repair some of the plunder as well. He needs to have uh, tools for that, of course. Just keep in mind that the camp's fire will see, be seen from afar, especially come night time. Alright, well, we're almost at Holmes, so we're just going to go there instead. The company returns to Holness as victors, their head held much higher than the last time they visited. The Bear Company are, are not the size that they once were, but it's still a force to be reckoned with as Hoggart the Weasel learned too late. You carry his head in a sack that you empty in front of Eric's feet. As it rolls towards him, he takes a step back, momentarily startled, only to approach again with curiosity. So it really is him. Yes, yes, I'm rid of him. Eric rubs his hands, his face turning into a grimace of cold satisfaction. Not speaking a word, his eyes glued to the weasel's frozen and slack-jawed gaze. He claps his hand for the servants to fetch the crowns and pay you as promised. You raise your voice to the men. As long as there's blood coursing through our veins. As long as we can hold sword and shield in hand. There shall stand the bear company. We've done it before and we'll do it again. We'll make the company known throughout the land. The men cheer. Erland puts his hand on your shoulder. You did well, Captain. Whether we travel from one village to the next and look for work, or head out to explore and plunder on our own, the men will follow you as brothers in battle. Yeah. Alright, so that is Battle Brothers. Let me know what you think, and uh, yeah, we'll see if... Uh, probably won't be a, an everyday series, but, um, you know, maybe we'll put one out once every few days or something. Anyway, that is all from me for now. Hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.